Hello, today I'll be showing you how to set up a rectangular waveguide simulation in Calmsa Multiphysics. We are using version 5.6. Now, rectangular waveguide is uh, geometrically pretty simple and not that intensive to simulate. But where this simulation comes in handy is how to visualize your electric and magnetic field and how to interact with the waveguide, both for above and below the cutoff frequency. These fields can get pretty hard to visualize or pretty hard to conceptualize once you go above and below or once you go to higher order modes. So this is a new console file. I'm gonna click a uh, model wizard here. I'm gonna do a 3D space dimension. Under this physics tree, we're gonna select a radio frequency and click electromagnetic waves frequency domain, parentheses EMW. I'm gonna click add. All right, then we keep these the uh, default components here. Click next to study. Under study, we're going to do general studies, frequency domain, and double click on that. That should bring us to this uh, new window. So next, we're going to set up our waveguide. So under geometry one here, we're going to change our length unit to centimeters, working a centimeter scale. Under geometry one, we're going to right click and click block. So this is our waveguide. For this example, uh, we're going to do a set our width as 20, our depth as 6, and our height as 4. You can click build all here. So uh, this is what our waveguide looks like. So our length is 20 centimeters and our uh, sort of small face here is a six by four rectangle. So the next thing is to add the material. So we're gonna go to materials here, right click, add material from library, we'll do all. And we're gonna do air, which should be the first one here. Double click that. And that applies air to our, our waveguide boundary. So next, uh, under we're gonna set up our ports, which is where our EM wave uh, enters and exits our waveguide. So under electromagnetic waves and frequency domain, we're gonna right click, add a port. Now under port one this is gonna be our excitation port. So we're gonna do uh, one of these smaller faces. We're gonna do the closer one here. Now under the settings for it, we're gonna do type of port, change this to rectangular because we're doing a rectangular waveguide. Uh, expectation is on, and that's gonna change port mode settings here. So this is where uh, we can change around to do different uh, types of modes or different mode numbers. So you click this, you can do T or TM modes. You can do different mode numbers here. So you can just put one, one, uh, two, one, zero, one, whichever one you want. We'll just do one, zero for now. The next is to set up uh, our second port. So again, we're gonna right click on electromagnetic waves, click port, and then we're gonna select the opposite end port. So this one here, uh, and again, type of port, we're gonna change this to rectangular. Uh, we wave expectation is off at this one, and we're gonna match the settings we did on port one. So those are our ports uh, setups. Also another important thing under ports, under calculator here, we can compute wave guide cutoff frequency, and that is basically, uh, console's calculation for the cutoff frequency for our dimensions. Uh, you can do that in port one and port two. Uh, the next thing is to set up our mesh. So the mesh size, you can keep this as normal. You don't really need a finer mesh, but and this uh, computation doesn't really take that long. So you can do a finer mesh, but there's really no need for it. So the next step is study. So we're gonna change the frequencies our uh, our input EM wave is uh, going in. So we're gonna do a range of frequencies to do above and below our cutoff. So under study one and step one frequency domain, we're gonna change frequencies here. We're gonna click this box for range and do uh, start. So we're gonna do a few gigahertz above and below our cutoff, which was 2.5. So we're gonna start at one gigahertz. And these brackets are important for the units. And we're gonna do steps of 100 megahertz. Then we're going to uh, go out to 4 gigahertz. So we're going from 1 to 4 gigahertz and steps on 100 megahertz. And click replace here. So next step is just click uh, compute. And so now that this will simulate for all the frequencies you just defined for our waveguide. Now this should only take a few seconds. So the next thing we're going to do is how to visualize our uh, electric field in the waveguide. Uh, we're going to do three different methods or three different ways. First way I'll show you is how the wave propagates down the 
waveguide, the second way is a transverse view, and the third way is uh, overlaying the electric field and magnetic field on each other. So after you click compute, a uh, console will give you this, uh, this plot here, which isn't really too useful to us right now. So we can just go ahead and delete this. All right, so we're gonna uh, set up our first plot. So we're gonna right click results, do a 3D plot group, and it's useful to name these. Uh, so there's gonna be a few different uh, plot groups. So I'm just gonna name this first one electric field. And this is where we can change our data set and which uh, parameter value we wanna look at. Um, so under electric field, we can right click again, click slice. So we wanna see how the waveguide propagates down the, or how the EM wave propagates down the waveguide. So we're gonna change our expression to E C, and then uh, we want to take a slice out the middle um, along the uh, X Y plane here. To do X Y plane on for the plane option, and then we're gonna change the coordinates to be in the middle. So for our case, it's two, and then so you see it's a slice down the middle, and uh, we're gonna also change our color table here to wave. So. Uh, this is how the electric field looks like and then our waveguide. So we, a red is like a positive electric field, blue is a negative, and gray is a, uh, a, a zero electric field. So it goes to positive, negative, positive, negative, uh, sort of just like a wave. So uh, another thing, useful way to visualize this is you can uh, add a deformation to our slice. So we're gonna right click on slice one, add deformation, and under X, Y, and Z component, we're gonna do emw.ex, emw.ey, and emw.ez, and click plot. So this is just uh, sort of deforms our slice to uh, fit the values of the electric field. So you can sort of more freely see how it's a wave. Uh, so this is our first way of viewing the electric field. So the next view is the transverse view. So again, we're gonna right click results, do a 3D plot group. And we're gonna take a slice down the middle along our uh, YZ plane. So firstly, I'm gonna rename this to electric field uh, transverse. And then right click this, click a slice, change our expression to EZ and our plane is along the YZ. And uh, we can either do number of planes or you can just do one singular plane. Um, so right now we'll just do number of planes, we'll click plot, oh, and then we can change our color table to wave. So you can see how the uh, we're taking slices out of the uh, waveguide along the YZ plane. And if you change this to coordinates, we can do down the middle, I click plot. Uh, so and changes the view a little bit. So this is our transverse profile. And a little tip is we can click the YZ up here to sort of align the camera to be viewing, looking down our waveguide here. And now, uh, actually I'm gonna change this back to number of planes though, later. So that is our transverse view. Uh, our next view is we can right click results again, click our, our next view is going to be uh, overlaying our electric and magnetic field. So we're going to right click 3D plot group. We're going to be setting this up uh, very similar to our first one. I'm going to name this with arrows. So we're going to represent our magnetic field uh, using arrows and our electric field with the color gradient that we've been doing. So electric field. And then right click this and do another slice. So set this up exactly the same way. Easy. Take a plane on x, y, and do it along the middle with the wave color table. Click plot, so this is what we've been seeing. All right, so then we're going to right-click electric field, and then insert an arrow volume. So this is the arrows for the magnetic field. And then under x, y, and z component, we're going to change this to b, x, b, y, and b, z. And we're going to change all these uh, entry methods to coordinates. 
And then under coordinates for the X and Y, we're going to set up a grid along the X, Y plane of arrows to plot. So we're going to start for the X. We're going to start at 0 and step to 1 all the way up to 20 centimeters. For Y, we're going to start at 0, step to 1 out to 6 centimeters. Oh, sorry, 6 centimeters. And then the Z coordinates, we're going to do along the uh, Z equals 2 plane. We do that, and then we're going to change the color down here to white. And once we click plot, it's going to overlay the magnetic field uh, with our electric field. So we can see how the magnetic field uh, changes with our electric field here. So those are our three different ways to view the electric field. You can, If you want to do this the opposite way, we're having the color gradient as the magnetic field. Or um, you can just repeat the same thing, but replace the expressions you use for the slice as uh, BZ. So I would do one example for you that for you right now. And I will do the arrows plot. Uh, so magnetic field, again, do slice. So the expression, we're going to do BZ xy plane so set everything exactly the same same color table all right so this is what the magnetic field looks like for our waveguide and then set up the arrow volume again so we're just going to replace or actually keep these ex eyez because we want to plot the electric field change these to coordinates Six, two, and then white arrows. So now this is uh, this is how the magnetic field and and the electric field looks like if the electric field with the arrows. So you can see uh, sort of what we saw earlier with the slice plot. You have positive electric field, negative, positive, negative, and then the arrows. Tell us the same thing, positive, negative, positive, negative, and the magnetic field looks like that. Uh, this is along the, the this is the magnetic field for the uh, Z plane. So those are the, and then you can repeat the steps again if you want to do the transverse view and uh, this deformation view. Now, if you want to go uh, above and below the cutoff frequency, you can go to the uh, plot groups here and can change the parameter values. So if you want to go below uh, the cutoff, so two here, you can see how the electric field starts off and then decays out to zero here. You can do that for the uh, rest of these, change that to two, and you can see it starts off and then decays down to zero. And the same thing. These all so you can change around for different frequencies, see how they all look like, and then you want to change for different modes. Again, you go to port one, change this to higher order modes, change the port two, you change the T to TM, whatever you want to do. You can do this for uh, whatever combination you want. And if you want to change the geometry, you can just change the block dimensions here. So that is how you set up a waveguide within console and the different visualizations you can do uh, using these plots. Um, again, I have in the link in the description, there's the uh, Google Doc, which is step-by-step -step, um, instructions for you. All right, thank you.